What's going on, YouTube? Y'all already know it is. It's your girl, Janine Nicole, and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. And today, 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 we have an, a re another reaction video, bro. By Annually Chopper, bro. He cut off his hair, bro. Um, he had locks, bro. I don't think I'm ever going to pick out my locks or comb out my locks, bro. Because uh, I'm almost so much yeah. By the time y'all watch the video, it'll be exactly because this video gonna be on Tuesday. So, um, uh, bro, I couldn't call about these, but like these are too like precious to me. You feel me? So he cut his though. I guess he. I don't know why he cut it, but he cut it. I think I saw like an Instagram post. It was like something about like something about. I guess it was weighing him down or something like that. But I I want to call. Cut my locks or pull my locks out or anything like that. I just keep them. But this um, um, he this is with uh, what's his man? Um, I think it's with Vic Blaze, whatever his name is. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna start playing it in there. I think in the beginning he's like introducing it in early chapter, so. I might skip 20 years old with over 5 billion streams worldwide. Not million, billion with the B. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, but it's three, it's three years, yeah, right? Three years. So, really, like, four if we. Bro, you've been having your loss for three years, bro. You better cut your loss off, bro. But. The thing with locks, right? You gotta maintain them. Like you, if y'all can't see his hair, bro, like this part is look off bit crazy. So I can understand why he wanna cut it because it's not even like how my locks are. Like if you see my locks, bro, my locks are down. I'm never gonna let that go. But of course, he has like a haircut too. So I don't know. Cause they started it for. It's like yeah, it's like so about four three years. and a half. Three and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Yes. Okay, so y'all can see his hair now. So like. This right here. Oh, uh, mm, mm mm. So, I'm gonna let you do the honors. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, chop one, huh? Yeah. So just, just take oh, it. No. Okay. You go for it if you're ready. That's the first one. That's it. Damn. This is about what? That man was surprised. <laughs> I mean, once you cut it all the you might, you gotta cut the rest somewhere. Well, look at that, bro. I don't... Right. Feel, how does it feel looking at it? It looks cool. I'm ready to see it. That's Why now? Simple. Why did you decide to um, have this switch? So, what I went through was an awakening, pretty much. Um, I feel like a lot of people embark on awakened journeys. And um, through the process of being on an awakened journey, you, 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 you deal with a lot of things. A lot of things of like reprogramming, um, a lot of days of loneliness, a lot of days of just questions and just being deep in thought. A lot of days where you try to keep. Bro, if you see me with this bucket on, bro, it's cold, bro. And I don't want to turn on my hair. I got like this little small heat on my own. I don't want to turn it on, bro, because it's making too much noise. It's making noise, bro. Keep the faith high, but sometimes you find yourself hopeless. Hold on. Because it's he like. Said, so, hold on. I missed you. On awakened journeys, and um, through the process of being on an awakened journey, you, you 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 deal with a lot of things, a lot of things of like reprogramming, um, a lot of days of loneliness, a lot of days of just questions and just being deep in thought, a lot of days where you try to keep the faith high, but sometimes you find yourself hopeless. That that's let me tell you something. I be hearing like a lot of negative comments about him because he's 20. Like, me and him, I'm almost 20. So, like, me and him, like, around the same age, a lot of people have really bad negative comments about him. But in a league, Chopper really is smart, bro. He really is smart. Like, I saw someone in the shade room. I think he was like, let me go find it. Mm. I saw someone in the shade room. Yeah. It says, Italy Chopper to launch Skate for Tyree uh, organization to support Tyree Nichols. Nichols. 
family and for your son. Like he he does things that other rappers don't do. He's very smart to be his age. But yeah. He said something really valuable right there, bro. Hold on. Let me go back. He said trying to keep the faith. He hold on. Is of just questions and just being deep in thought. A lot of days where you try to keep the faith high, but sometimes you find yourself hopeless. He said trying to keep the faith high, but sometimes find yourself hopeless. But that's that's deep, bro. That's really deep. Like for real, that's that's deep. Because it's like you're so separated on a journey. You're so out of the loop of the norm that things kind of tend to feel like um, you're the oddball, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. which can lead to things of the nature of like sometimes being depressed, sometimes um, having a big amount of stress, um, anxiety at all time high, and just things of that nature. So I don't know if I said this, but make sure I like, comment, subscribe, they do say I'm serious on my post. But this makes clean off as well. So like, I don't care about it. Some people have to do it. Though. But look at his hair in front. I'm really big on hair, bro. I'm really big on hair. His hair, like, it's, it's bothering me, bro. Because, I don't know. It was, it's like a bush under the lock. So, I don't know. But, I mean, I guess it was hot when we cut it. But, yeah. Man, you gotta slow down. You give them too fast. Slow down. I, I take, <laughs> I, I take, my, I take, I take a little time. I take a little time with it, but. but yeah. Bro, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, like, man, um, yeah, you know, I'm just saying. But yeah, like, um. You can't look in the mirror till I'm done either. Okay, I don't got you. Don't look at the mirror. Don't know. Hey, so you gotta move that mirror because he gonna look in the mirror. I ain't gonna look. I ain't gonna don't look. Don't look in the mirror. Bro, it's me messing with my locks because he's cutting his locks, bro. But I just can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. After, after having these for almost seven months, bro, I can't imagine me cutting my locks, bro. I would cry. We got to cover your eyes when we walk past the mirror. But yeah, man, um, just dealing with all of that, right? And you go on a journey to find out what your purpose is. Yeah. So as I was embarked along the journey, um, it was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of days, rainy days. Some days was kind of sunny. Some days was gloomy. And um, through the process of that, I found what I'm here to do and what I'm here for. When'd you start to, when'd you start to understand like that itself? You I, know, and it was it, was it something that you, like when'd you learn it? Mm -hmm. And like, how'd you learn that? Because, you know, like we, we make, we've yeah. been making art for a while now, you know, it's mm -hmm. like when you were making art originally, like 15, mm -hmm. 16, starting this journey, yeah. did you expect to be where you are now with the message that you have today? Like, when did you start to learn? Like, man, if I'm gonna do this, I gotta inspire. I, I knew it was something with helping and healing. That's my purpose, helping and healing. So I knew along that line from the day I had an awakening, even the day since I was born, I knew I'm a hero. So that just goes with helping and healing, which is my purpose. But um, to help and heal, you have to heal yourself first. You know, especially when you have a platform like me. Um, I feel like a lot of artists don't understand. We here to soulfully inspire and help the people on their journey um, is, is to get to that top level, that top layer, and throw that ladder down with your hand to pull you know, the other ones up. So I realized I couldn't fully do that to my full potential until I won the fight on the inside. But it takes a real, a real man, a real woman. It takes a real person. It takes real strength. It takes- That man said woman. <laughs> real discipline it takes it takes prayer it takes a strength beyond the body of the vessel of you to be able to fight the fight that's on the inside but like when you know mm -hmm. all right i'm having a battle here there is a mental battle so, because sometimes I, I i didn't know for a lot of time that mm -hmm. i had mental battles of my own yeah until it got to a point where it was too big to ignore mm -hmm. and like everybody could see it from the outside now when it's I feel like that was too long. Bro, this is what I be saying, bro. Like, when, like, even rich people, bro, you can have all the money in the world and still not be happy, bro. That's why I say, like, money ain't everything. Money isn't everything for us. So, the fact that, you know, the fact that, um, that he realized that even at a young age, because 
You only talk with 20. So I mean, even with Big, I think that's, I think his name is Big Blaze, I think. But just them knowing that, bro, is like, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. And I was ignoring a lot of the things that I felt mentally mm -hmm. because it's just not something that you think you're going to go through. Sometimes, you know, when we talk about mental health, um, you know, you just never expect like it's going to be me that yeah, goes through that. When did you know that you had a battle to face? Um, I knew I had a battle to face when my thoughts weren't reflecting of the word life. Y'all, I'm not going to do the whole video. I'm just doing parts of this video. I'm probably going to do it until like 20 minutes uh, reacting to this. Like, up to 20 minutes of the video. But that's crazy, bro. Like, to be so young, like, that's why I say, like, mental health is so important, bro. But to be so young, bro, and then having to go through things, bro, and then you're rich. That's, that's crazy. All right. Or reflecting of the word living. Mm -hmm. It was more so reflective of I'm better off not here. Um, once my thoughts started to creep into that state, I started to realize, yo, chop, you gotta wake up. Um, it's, something you, it's something you gotta give. It's something that has to give to get you back to your youth, your inner child, back to that person that was smiling, laughing, playing, joking, and just all about life. Um, things start to suck the life out of you once you lose focus and you lose track on what's really important. And that was the state of life I was in. And um, it was days where, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I tried to take action on harming myself and you know what I'm saying? It got to that point. And when it gets to that point, it's, it's serious. It's extremely serious. I kid you not, the power of prayer. And that's why I take prayer so seriously. You know, cause I'm, you know, we dream chase. Mm -hmm. And when I had nothing, I- He ain't lying, bro. Prayer, bro, is a powerful thing, bro. Because you have to have prayer, bro. Like, it's no ends and out of it. Bro. You have to have, it is cold, bro. Dreamed of like, yo, God, when you give it to me, mm -hmm. this is what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I promise you, if you give it to me, I'm gonna use it for good. I'm gonna mm -hmm. use it. This is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And there's been times I've caught myself again, mm -hmm. everything I, I prayed for and I wanted, I've been given. Mm -hmm. And there were times again, I didn't stand on what, what I said I, said, I was gonna yeah. do when I wanted it. You know, you know so I just feel like you mm -hmm. ask God to eat and He mm -hmm. fill your plate up mm -hmm. with food, mm -hmm. keep up your appetite. For sure. And the things that are coming along with what you're asking for, stand mm -hmm. on them. For sure. And they're gonna keep coming. So with that being said, um, I felt as if I was the hottest and um, man, things started to really trickle. And um, it's because I blew up and everything gets thrown at you and it goes back to the wants and the needs. It goes back to the oath. Um, there's people around me that wasn't for my best interest. Um, me being a young kid, you don't really know at that point, you know, you, you're learning. So it's, it's like, you're still going through the motions but you just can't, you trying to live it up, but at the same time, you start to realize how, how it's a blessing and a curse and certain things just coming to your doorstep, I ain't meant for you to pick up. Mm -hmm. So I was picking up these things and I was adding them to my backpack and I was like carrying it along this journey. And as I'm going up the hill, going up the mountain, I keep putting shit in the backpack. Uh, uh, uh. I thought, wow, that backpack is real heavy. And you stop climbing. And you reach a type of stagnant feel, but it was only on the inside. On the outside, I was still, you look, I had hits. You look lit. Hits, look it, lit. Was, it was turned. Everything looked great from the outside. I was still the hottest in the world. But internally, I felt like, yo, what the fuck I get here for? Like, you know, why am I even... Why did I want to get here just to sink? For it to feel like this. Yeah, for it to feel like, you know what I'm saying? And you always started to progress. So so it led into 2020. It hit hard. It led into 2021 and it hit the worst. And um, I kid you not, like March 2021, 
we hit the pandemic, I believe, if I'm, if I'm quoting it right, in March 2020, we hit the pandemic. It was like a reset button God hit on the universe and I was isolated even more. Yeah, man, through that process, I started to learn me, man, for sure. I finally feel like I've learned everything that God sent my way. I was beating myself, be myself up about it. I'm like, yo, you fuck. Bro, I'm over here getting chill points, bro, bro. That's crazy. Like, at 20, you feel like you got everything that. Wait, what did he say? Hold on. I got to go back because it's, you have to, I don't want to quote him wrong. I don't want to quote him wrong. But like, I want to go back. Hold on. Right. March 2020, we hit the pandemic. It was like a reset button God hit on the universe and I was isolated even more. Yeah, man, through that process, I started to learn me, man, for sure. I finally feel like I've learned everything that God sent my way. I was beating myself. A he said he feels like he learned everything that God sent his way. Bro, every, I feel like him at a young age, bro, because me and him are around the same age, right? At a young age, bro, you learn a lot. As young adults, we learn a lot. So to hear him say that, bro, and he's a rapper, and he's he's going on a different path than other rappers that's twice his age, bro, it's, it shows, bro. Like, he's, that's smart, bro. He's smart, bro. Beat myself up about it. I'm like, yo, you fucked it up. Oh, you messed it up. Like, damn, you stupid. You, you, know, you, you know that's your lesson. Yeah, that's my lesson, that's right? Your, that's your lesson. And so, as long as you learn, yeah. there's never a loss in any situation. Never was. A friend that left, mm -hmm. a, a business partner that never. left, an opportunity, a feature, a music, like, whatever it is, if it yeah. left, it wasn't meant to be there. And if it left, you were supposed to learn from it. For sure. And that's what, this what's so beautiful about the journey now. And that's why I can't help but smile because everything that I was manifesting for myself, God was just sending the storms my way. He was like, yo, I'm, a, I'm sending you storms because I want to show you that what you manifesting has to be protected. Everybody can't go on this journey. You can't take use of everything that's brought to you. You got to be disciplined. You got to have flow. You have to surrender. You have to stay prayed up. You have to still do these things that you did to get here and then some to hold on to it. Getting there is not. Bro. One thing I've learned about God, bro, you have to meet him halfway. And when I say that, you can, you can pray all day and say, God, I want a job. God, God, he'll provide a job to you. But you got to put that step forward. You got to put that foot, that foot step forward too, bro. Let's say you, you looking for a job, bro. And, and, um, you looking for a job and God said, okay, I'm going to give you one. But you got to go outside the door and walk down a few blocks to see that somebody, that's your job right there, bro. Somebody holding up a help wanted sign. Bro, you never know, bro, but you got to put that foot, your, that first, you got to put that foot forward. God will provide it to you, but you got to meet him halfway with it, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Not the accomplishment. Stay holding there. on it's, to that shit. Stand there. stand there and holding on to the shit God give you. That's the accomplishment, bro. Yeah, but but talk yeah. about that because some people that dream of blowing up, mm -hmm. being viral, and being seen mm -hmm. think that's the hardest hurdle. Man, the hardest hurdle was staying there, bro. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you just like this. You get it. Then comes the girls. Then comes the drugs. Then comes the money. Then comes the problem. I took a really cute Bruh. photo at home one time and I got like a little piece of the kitchen counter Bruh. fumbled. But with Bruh. the magic eraser, you can just Bruh. make a little circle on that dent and it'll Bruh. erase. My name is Sheena and I have a Google oh, Pixel. Play, bro. Oh. You gotta you gotta realize what's best for your life. And that's, that's, that, that just comes with the basics of knowing some things are temporary, some mm -hmm. situations are meant to learn from. If you don't have the strength to walk away from certain things that are detrimental, that's when it kill you in the long run. It could kill you physically, it could kill you mentally, it could kill you emotionally. And that's what 
I realize with my life now is like, okay, if I meet someone, I'm not using them just for their body. I want to use them to learn. I want to use them for knowledge. I want to use them to see what can I learn from you. I want to use you for all of the right reasons before I even get to the intimacy standpoint. Don't get me wrong, I have balance. Love is love, um, but you have to balance it with lust at times. I mean, it's cool because it's a yin and a yang, but you never can be too much into something that's detrimental. So you have to create the balance. And once I figured that out, it's like, yo, everyone that's gonna come to me, I know it's not meant for them to be here forever with me. It's probably temporarily for me to learn something that might help benefit 20 years from now. You can either, <laughs> you know? you can either be a lesson or a blessing. For sure. And I take a step back, I reflect. I looked at all the storms God sent me. It was to remove me from the people that wasn't in the life I was building. And then when I took, a, took another step back to reflect on my current, everything I manifested came into fruition. It's here. It's right here. Bro, your, your, your song is too powerful, bro. Like, I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. You wanted to make it. Mm -hmm. You made it. You mm -hmm. wanted the money. Mm -hmm. You got the money. Yeah, yeah. You wanted everything that came with it. You got, got it. it. You think if you don't speak the positivity that you want in your life, mm -hmm. they won't come either? So what? Come on, come bro. On, like, man. whatever <laughs> you want, whatever. you can have it. For sure. Yeah. And it, Man, so, you know, and we, we, we know that, bro, but mm -hmm. I need everybody to know that. Yeah, people got to like, know. You got to know that, man. The, the things that I'm saying right now, mm -hmm. the things that you're doing, mm -hmm. I dreamed of this. I wanted this. Mm -hmm. I spoke it. Mm -hmm. It For came sure. back, right? When so. it comes, who knows? And then you speak it out, it's coming. You got to be patient for that. So that feeling that I had, and I say this with the most passion I can fucking say it. That feeling that I had when I realized my world was gone, man, I never want to feel that again. So when he gives it to me again, nigga, I never give up on it. I never give Bro, that you gotta back be, up. You got to be so, grateful for that moment. Yeah. Don't ever regret I'm so that grateful moment. for the lows. Don't ever regret your lows, bro, man, because I'm your so, lows tell you how to be grateful man, for what's coming later exactly. in your life, bro. If you don't lose it, how you exactly. know to keep it? Exactly. You know, so, man, bro, you got to. Bro, you got to go through still to understand what they saying, bro. It's really faith, bro. That's that's really what they talking about, bro. It's, it's really faith, bro. Or what they got going on, bro. Now I love that, bro. Lose. That's the most important sure. part because when most. it comes, I know. <laughs> All right, man. Now this shit could go at any time, bro. Mm -hmm. And even I feel like that now in my life with everything that I do, man. I wake up every day and understand that this is just a blessing. Mm -hmm. Everything that I got right now, I don't mm -hmm. deserve. Bro, bro, hold on. I, you know, like I don't, I don't wake up with an expectation like this is supposed to be mine. I mm -hmm. wake up every day and understand that this is a blessing. Bro. Yeah, for sure. I live a nah, blessing bro. every day. Mm -hmm. I gotta bro. be grateful. For sure. I gotta. Be... Bro, none of this. Nothing is promised, bro. Life is not promised. Opportunities are not promised, bro. None of this is promised, bro, but it's just blessing, bro. Like, on TikTok, right? When I do TikTok, bro, I get views on it, right? But I never just be like, oh, well, um, you know, I'm going to just keep doing it because, you know, this... I, I'm not on my own time. I'm on God's time, right? And so when I first started doing TikTok, bro, I wasn't I wasn't getting as many views as I am now. Of course, I'm not getting too, like, I'm not getting, like, thousands of views, but I'm not I'm not worried about it. Like, the most I've ever gotten a view is 5,000 5, plus views, right? Everybody can't say that, though, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing that I'm even able to get over 200 views. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's it's blessings in disguise and you just have to look at things as blessings instead of like oh this this supposed to happen like i look at everything as a blessing bro everything is a blessing within the opportunity be grateful i want everything i earn i gotta be grateful mm -hmm. and man it could be over and he said if you want everything you if you want everything that you want you gotta be grateful for it when you get it bro you got to bro you got to any day, but I know that, man, I'm gonna live in it mm. every day and spread the love that I can with the people I got around me. I'm gonna sure. share it. I'm gonna share this energy while it's here. Who knows sure. how long it really lasts, but if it's here, 
man, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna cherish I'm gonna cherish it, bro. And for everything. There was so many times, man, mm-hmm. the last three years that I wasn't cherishing it because mm-hmm. I was fighting for more. Mm-hmm. I was fighting for more in my life. I thought that I, f- for me to get mm-hmm. more was gonna change the way that I felt about myself. Mm-hmm. That if, God, if you gave me more money, I would feel better. Mm-hmm. If you gave me more friends, I feel better. If I had mm-hmm. more followers on IG, I, I feel a little bit better. Mm-hmm. And, and it didn't make me feel better because mm-hmm. I got all that. And the same problems that, that you talk about, mm-hmm. that I'm talking about, they didn't go nowhere. Yeah, for sure. Man. They didn't go nowhere until I looked in the mirror and said, face I got to face this shit. Face That's how I felt, me mm-hmm. versus face me. It, face it, face yourself. I faced myself mm-hmm. and, and picked my shit up and said, I'll never feel like this again. When in the I'm gonna battle make sure, I'm going to make sure I, I, I take care of myself. Mm-hmm. So, man, before we shampoo, I say, I said all that to just pretty much say, man, 2019 was that year for me. But the year God has written over my life of 2023. Come on, man. Man, look, peep this. I'm going to say this to the camera. I'm going to let everybody know they're going to hear it. 2023 will be my breakout year when I was 16 on crack. Like times 100. Yeah. Because I'm a, I cherish every part of the day. I pray at least four times throughout the day. When I get down, when I lay down before I go to sleep, I take myself through every part of the day through the prayer. And I say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, I'm grateful for that, God. Thank you, thank you. Ah, that didn't work. Thank you, some bigger coming. Some bigger coming. So I'm so grateful for my now Mm. that the future is heavenly because. Mm. He said, I'm so grateful for my now, bro. Or you're now, bro. You gotta, you gotta look in the present, bro. You gotta look in your now, bro. Because your past, what your past look like, can be totally different from what your future gonna look like or what your present look like. And it, days aren't promised, bro. Nobody tomorrow is promised to them. No, nobody's tomorrow is promised to them, bro. So. Take take tomorrow, take every day, bro. And I hate to say it like this: take every day like it's your last day. You know, you gotta be grateful, bro. Thank him for everything that that you do have, bro. Just thank him for being God, bro. For real, praying is a powerful weapon, bro. It's the most powerful thing in the world, most powerful thing, bro. And I can honestly say that because I I've, I've been through things, bro. Like I'm tearing up, bro. Like. I've been through things, bro, where, you know what I'm saying, like, I I actually, like, been through things that some people wouldn't be able to go through, bro. I done been through surgery, bro. I done, I done been through a lot, so, you know what I'm saying? But it, it builds you to who you are. You know what I'm saying? It builds you to, to the person you are. Like, I'm so grateful. Like, looking back for almost 20 years, that's crazy. 20 years, bro. I'm still here, bro. This is what the video was really about, like, talking about mental health, bro. But, bro, just just being grateful. Like, that's majority of what he was talking about, like, in the first part, like, from what I'm seeing now. But, bro, just being grateful, bro. Like, that's that cut is deep, bro. Being grateful for you now. Put your now, bro. Like, everybody can't think like that. Like, everybody trying to figure out, like, why is this stuff happening to me, bro? Being grateful for your now, bro. That's, that's, that's a point, bro. That's a, that's a hit, bro. That's, that, that right there, bro. That was powerful, bro. That's, that's all you have to have is gratitude and gratefulness, because, like I said, your present moment is all that you need to get to where you're trying to go. So the more you're in tune with the present, it's, it's the only time that exists. Yeah, for it's sure. It's the only time that, you know, the future don't exist yet. Yeah. Past, done for. Right what you do right now? Right now is all I got, man. Right now is what's shaping this. And, what's, and, and right now, I need to shampoo your hair, bro. Yeah, come on, come so on. Let yeah, me go mom. ahead. Come on, man. Yeah, so right I, now, I need to shampoo your hair, bro. Yeah, come, <laughs> come on, man. All right, y'all. We're just gonna go to commercial anyway. But all right, y'all, so. This is in the video, bro. I really just wanted to see what they were talking about in that video, bro. And, Sorry to interrupt. Oh, 
I just really wanted to see what they was talking about in that video, bro. And they had like a lot of good points in that video talking about like just being grateful for what you have in your now, bro. Not you could be good for your past, you could be grateful for whatever comes in your future, but being in your now, bro, is that's that's powerful, bro. So thank y'all for coming to watch, bro. I told y'all I'm I'm back to back with these vids for real. Like I'm not playing like we back to back. Back to back to back, bro. And this video probably gonna be on Tuesday, bro, at 12 p.m., bro. Um, so be on the lookout for that, bro. Um, be on the lookout for that, bro. I appreciate all the love and support that's coming my way with the vids, bro. I just wanted to go ahead and start back doing videos for you. But um, y'all be safe, bro. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so y'all see my post. And next time, y'all. Uh, I got another video coming. Um, before this video, bro, y'all should have saw two other videos. Y'all should have saw my reaction to my friends. Uh, um, cover to say yes by poetry. It's just a Prada D. Um, say yes video, and then y'all should also see my Dan the Life of a Photography video. So that video, that photography video, the Dan the Life Photography video is gonna be out on Sunday, and the um, and then this video is gonna be out on Tuesday. I've already put out the reaction video for my uh the say yes cover. I've already I already put that out. That was on Friday. The the day I'm recording this video bro is the same day I'm doing those other that I've done those other two videos but like we working bro we working so um thank y'all for watching bro y'all have a good day God bless y'all